Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Stylish Hobby, and where I put together an alpha with shoes that just released. And today we're going to be talking about the Union Air Jordan 4 in Desert Moss that released on June 20th for $250. These released on the sneakers app as well as the Union's website. Um, I did get my pair from the GOATS app. Um, I was unable to get my pair on the Union's website. I did enter raffles, but unfortunately I didn't win the draws. Um, I did go for them on the sneakers app as well. I was not selected. Um, this pair of shoes were really hard to get. Um, a lot of people were talking about them. They were really hyped. And usually it is like that when it comes to unions, um, they're, they're really hard to cop. So I was kind of, you know, a little bit on the fence on knowing that I wasn't going to be able to get them for, you know, retail price. I did pay a little over retail, but, you know, I must say it was so worth it um, when I got them in the mail and I first saw them in hand. They're just so beautiful in my opinion. The colors, everything about them I love. Um... You know enough about me ranting on the shoe and when i got them and everything like that but just getting into the materials and description of the shoes as you guys can see on the lateral side of the shoe on the overlay they did use that beautiful mustard suede colorway on the upper and all around the toe box um for the midsole they went for this nice off-white midsole which i really love the way that it looks together combined with the other colors they did go for the nice cage and that nice off-white as well with this nice little branding um, tag on the side of the Union LA. And in my opinion, I think they should have just went for this nice tag more to the front so you can see a little better. But it's not something that, you know, overall affects my opinion of the shoe because like I've said before, I love them very much. Um, as you guys notice on the upper, um, most of the upper and the toe box has this beautiful, nice purple mesh, which to the touch, it is a very different comparing them to the off noirs that you see right here. Um, the materials that they did use for um, the toe box is a little different. Um, as you guys noticed on the back tab of the shoes, it has the Nike Air branding in that nice, beautiful, nice lavender color, which I really like because they did go for that color and that's the only um well the only area of the shoe that has that nice lavender color it goes really well with that nice purple getting also into the back tab of the shoe they did use this nice turquoise colorway and then they also went for the wings in um, that nice translucent clear going for the laces as you guys noticed they did go for this nice turquoise colorway as well as they provided you with a second pair of laces and the nice gray and I love how they went for this design on the laces with that nice off-white, like little specks of off-white because it makes the lacing look unique. And I don't know, it just makes them look so premium in my opinion. One of the things that I really love about this shoe is that it has so many colors that you can play with the laces. Um, if you are like me, you know that I love to change my laces around. Um, one of the things that I would have done for this um, would be to change the laces and other colors of the shoe. You have more options. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um, when it comes to the lacing. What ideas do you guys have? Um, I would love to hear that because you know me. I love to change the laces. And I have a couple of ideas in mind that I want to do. But, you know, in the future, let's see what happens. Um, getting into the tongue, as you guys notice, it has this um, nice... Uh, cushion tongue with the Air Jordan branding in that nice uh, turquoise colorway as well as the off-white and then the insole is also well the out well, the sock liner is this nice gray color which is a little different in my opinion because they did went for a different color for the insole they did go for that nice um, kind of mustard yellow colorway and then they went for the, the Jumpman logo and the Union logo in that nice lavender color I don't know if you guys can notice from here um, I did use my drip grips on these um, because, like I've said before, I love to use my drip grips on shoes that are kind of my grails. Um, these I will be always having in my collection. You know, this is something that I wanted to just preserve them so much. So I went ahead 
and purchase the drip grips. Um, if you guys are interested, they come with a pair of drip grips for $25 on the drip grip um, website. I'll be leaving the link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing them. Um, I actually went ahead and got myself a second pair of drip grips. This is what they look like. Um, for my um, topes, I did get those two. Um, that colorway in particular, I'm really excited about. Um, I cannot wait to get them in the mail. Please leave some notifications and alerts on my um, videos so like that you guys can stay on top of when I do release that video coming really soon um, and give my full description and review on those as well as well as my outfit idea. And I don't know um, guys, let me know if you guys prefer these over the topes or if you guys prefer these over the off norse which one do you guys like you know because in my opinion comparing the two um i feel like these are a little more subtle in color so if you want to go for a more subtle outfit you can always go for the off norse i know i got these like a year ago and i must say that every time i look at them it's like looking at them for the first time I'm so in love with them. They're just a beautiful, clean colorway, and I really appreciate them very much. Um, comparing them to this one, um, the Desert Moss, I feel like the Desert Moss are a little more vibrant in colors, more out there. The colors do remind me kind of of uh, the Joker from the Batman, as well as the Laker colors. Let me know what these shoes remind you of. I know they did choose this colorway because this is kind of like an outdoor gear for back in the 80s and the 90s. So they did go for those colors as well. Kind of like a, I don't know, like a tent and trail kind of um, colorways. Um, I must say that they did go for some really unique colors. Like I would have never thought that this nice mustard color would look so well with that nice purple as well as the lavender on the back tab. That's one of the most nicest accents that they did in my opinion. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically it for my description and details of the shoe. Um, getting right into the outfit that I chose for these. Let's get right into it. Um, I did go for something that was a little different, but in my opinion, um, something that I knew would go really well with them. Um, I did go for two tops with my outfit, and I did go for this nice off-white kind of cream-colored um, graphic t-shirt I got this at Burlington for like 10 bucks um, I love the, the way that they match the um, midsole as you guys notice it's that nice cream colorway and I thought that went really well it wasn't something that was you know too out there because I know a lot of people would go for those other colors in the shoe but I wanted to be different let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys thought this color went well and then for the bottom, I did choose um, some black jeans because like I've said before, you cannot go wrong with black jeans. I feel like you can always style any shoe, any outfit with a black pair of jeans and it will look great. And then for my second um, outfit idea for the top, I did go for this nice purple um, colored graphic tee. As you guys noticed, it still has the tag on it. I did pay $8 in Marshalls and it's just a regular um, plain graphic tee. I loved the way this looked as well because it went really well with that nice purple on the toe box as well as on the ankle part of the shoe. It just went so nice and I loved it. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys preferred the cream colored top or if you guys like the purple or if you guys like both. In my opinion, I liked both because it gives you more options when it comes to your outfits and you know you can play a little more with the colors that the shoes provide you with so yeah guys that's um basically just it for this video um let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um i've noticed that i've gotten a lot of comments from you guys a lot of opinions and i really appreciate that i actually love it i love being able to interact with you guys and just learning you know learning from you guys' experiences and everything when it comes to shoes um but yeah guys uh thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe and until my next video bye